Okay. I was hoping they'd make just a smidge more. Oh god. I just realized. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Do I only have one builder? Crap. I thought I had two. I have two. What? Man, they've got no hustle. It should be fine. Did he pick this up? Yeah, he did. Okay. Come back. Yeah, I have to babysit this guy. Apparently. And yeah, we should pick up some more folks here. Okay, looks like that palisade wall is done. I'm just going to build that up to stone. I'd like to upgrade the main base and go with that, but... I'll probably get one more before enemies roll along. And then we should get back. Not even sure where the enemies exactly go to. Okay. Do we grab? Do you one more of that? One more farmer, actually. Cause I, I should have that farm going at max capacity at all times. Uh, how's it going over here? Looks like it f it's fine. Buh. Yeah, that looks that looks like it worked out. Let's see, what does the purchase on the river do? Gets you a farm, which is actually really helpful. Okay, can I just upgrade this now? Or do I have to upgrade my main base? Oh, right. It's busted, so... Gotta wait. If I really pushed out this direction, I could actually get quite a lot of farmland. Thing is, ultimately, it almost feels better for me to turtle. Just in case. Yeah, I don't think there's siege weapons in this game. Okay, but yeah, let's... Let's get this up to stone. Do you have money for me? Money for the bot? Upgrade these. Right. I gotta go back to the trader. So what do rock upgrades do? Uh, well, mainly it just increases my, uh... Uh, it just increases, like, tower health and stuff. Or wall health, in that case. Do you get towers for your archers? They might be good. Yeah, the only reason why I'm usually kind of stingy about towers is because I keep expanding my walls out. But in this case, I'm probably going to just cut myself off at these points. And income-wise, I think I'm probably just going to start uh, chucking money at, at the banker. Because if I can get him up to like 30, 40 coins, my income is going to be like 6, 7 coins a day on him. Okay, so... Yeah, it's getting close. Three more, three more coins. 
Yeah, I can probably invest three more coins in the guy. It'd be nice if you could see little progress bars on... ...how much you have left. Yeah, it looks like all the archers went the other direction. Now, what's my withdrawal increment? No, it's not worth it. I could get four more archers. Yeah, let's get four more archers. My interest will just kind of grow naturally, but these guys kind of make money for me. And also at some point, you know, even with stone walls, we're going to have to worry about, you know, these guys just proving to be too many and too much, especially because we've got a, uh, we've got a blood moon coming up in a day. Because it's on night 6 and night 11. I think in uh, Kingdom it used to be nights 5. 5, 10, 15, 20. I kind of prefer the 5, 10, 15, 20. But. Eh. It, it's just. Well, I guess it's not easier to keep track of. I guess it's just I'm lazy. And, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 is marginally easier to remember. It just feels cleaner. I, I hate increments of 5 when it's not an increment of 5. That would be the, uh... That'd be the way of putting it. So is this like 3D Kingdom? Yup. Also, welcome back, Weasel of Dune. Glad you're finally over your pneumonia. I had pneumonia when I was a kid. It was not pleasant. I I barely remember much of it. All I remember is I had to have an IV and I was like, I was hospitalized for like a couple days? I don't really remember. Mostly it was just keeping an eye on me, probably antibiotics and, uh, you know, making sure I get enough rest, but still, not the kind of thing you want to do casually. Obviously. I got really jealous of my friend who had pneumonia. Jealous, but also concerned, because he had pneumonia and didn't go to the hospital. I think a lot of me was, was like, why did I have to go to the hospital then? And then another part was just like, uh... You know, that's apparently real dangerous. Let's not do that again. Can I feed my mount? Yeah, I can. Just a little bit more. Oh. You. I don't know if he's going to be back in time. Hmm. I'd like to pay the banker. Oh, I know. I, I'm actually going to defund the banker a bit. No, that's not what I want to do. Coin withdrawal increments. Oh, here we go. I'm going to do that because that increases that increases my uh, my archer damage. I would have gone to go get more, but I think I'd rather have higher damage archers than more archers. At least right now. Why are both my builders on this side? That's dumb.
Looks like they're all stacking up on this side anyway. I need, like, a little bit more. Let's go put it back in the banker. So how much... How much is he down to? Here, we've got we've got the damage upgrade. Hello. Don't mind me. Yeah, it looks like we're fine. I'll probably want to upgrade the wall further. I think I just want more people. Yeah, if they're here anyway, why not build a tower? Also, good idea. Honestly, I should I should probably start getting towers down on both of these walls. I do notice the game gets considerable laggier, considerably laggier past like day, day ten. Okay, so yeah, it's it looks like it's a ten percent. It's just shy of ten percent interest rate, which is insane. If I had a ten percent interest rate, I'd be rich. But I mean that's that's true of most people. But getting getting that kind of income is going to going to make a massive difference in your life. And I remember when interest rates used to be like Jeez, was it like three or four percent back in the ninety? No, that's probably ex excessive. I just remember my mother taught me about interest rates when I was a kid. And you know, at the time, interest rates were were goofy high, and I was just like, "Yes, you know, this is amazing. I'm just gonna save all my money." And then I get to be an adult, and it turns out that that whole thing's a lie, or my mother was lying to me, or I don't even know. The trick isn't getting ten percent returns; it's getting consistent ten percent returns. Very true. Money. Pripes. Everybody's wealthy. Oh, and I can upgrade my walls even further. Alternatively, banker. Uh, also, the boomers broke all the things for us. Yeah. I try not to place too much blame on people that, you know probably aren't thinking about what happens and probably don't like being blamed about stuff and usually blame me for avocado toast. Some of the online savings accounts will give you a 2% now. Brick and mortar places are pretty awful about their saving accounts. Yeah, I gotta look into uh, a new bank. Admittedly, it was kind of funny. I uh, went to a... Uh, Bank of America, because that's what I've had for a while. Just because that was the easy bank account when I was a kid. I've just never properly switched. Um, but so we were there recently. Uh, to, to get cashier's checks. Uh, to, you know, effectively pay my deposit for this place. And... I, I guess I was I was going over whatever and they looked at my bank account and whatever and I had been putting a fair bit into savings because I had well because I'm a youtuber I wanted kind of to have that like not that appearance of wealth but you know usually I put most of my money in um in really safe stocks generally um, and you know because I wanted to get a, a house, I was effectively like, well, I usually keep all my stuff in investment portfolios, and this is really boring for most people, I'm sure. Um, but I should probably keep some in just a direct bank account, because if, if anybody wants to even, like, you know, consider me for housing, I might have to just say, like, hey, you know, I have this amount of currency that I'm just 
keeping around because, you know, I have a weird job and a lot of people give me weird looks when I'm like, I'm a YouTuber. And they're like, you're going to have to, like, pay a higher security deposit. And seriously, uh, people do not trust... Uh, I'm not going to say YouTubers, but people don't trust uh, things they don't understand. And so, yeah, my problem was I was... Uh, I had a number of, like, people be like, yeah, we're, we're gonna need some, like, major proof of income because you're this, like, self-employed person. Um, and so, yeah, it was like, okay, I'm just gonna hold on to a bunch of money. And so I walk into the, the Bank of America, more or less, and trying to get the cashier checks. And you could almost immediately, well, the manager effectively saw, I guess, my bank numbers and was like, oh, shoot, we gotta get you onto, like, a gold membership. And it was just... Weirdly exuberant, where most most banks are like you know friendly, but not like you need to get on the 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 the, the and start like kind of sales pitching you. And I'm like, I'm not used to this. It's confusing. I'm actually probably not that special to be totally honest. But there, were, it was a weird feeling. Yeah, it's true. Most most people, yeah, most people in the U.S. are also like barely have a couple thousand dollars in savings, so. There is, there is that as a thing. 24? Holy crap. That's expensive. And when did Millennials start? Yeah, 1981 to 1996. Let's see, what about Towers? Towers don't make me money! Capitalism ho! I should, I should probably... Fix this. Let's see, do we do this? Yeah. Let's start getting some towers here. I'm probably not going to extend further out than this. I could. I could get another set of walls out here. Heck, I could go even further and just get, like, madcap farms. Okay, so we'll upgrade this tower and then I'm going to go put the rest in the banker. What I want to do is effectively get my... I want to get my my interest to the point where I can... Let's see, how are we doing? Where I can effectively just live off of it. It's tough, though. See, baby boomer and end year and millennial year start date are fuzzy. Wasn't there also uh, Gen X that I think was before millennials? Enemy but no, I, I know the millennial generation is a lot older than I think a lot of people give it credit for. You know, usually when you hear, like, damn, millennials are ruining Applebee's, and they're, like, talking about kids not wanting to eat at Applebee's. Or, like, damn, millennials and their fidget spinners and or Fortnite. And it's like, nope, actually, fun fact, that's, that's, uh, that's Gen Z. I'm pretty sure that's Gen Z. I don't know, I don't know if we've hit, uh, a new generation after. I think there's also, like, the lost generation, but I'm not... I think that might be more of a, a a tagline than anything else. I don't keep up with this. I think labeling uh, generations is dumb. Okay, so increases accuracy, archer capacity. I'm not entirely convinced the... Like, the archer towers are kind of nice, that 5% increase, but I almost want to kind of put that money to upgrading the main base to increase just flat, uh, flat damage. Millennials are killing Applebee's because we can microwave our own food at home. And even if it wasn't, like, microwave food, Applebee's food just isn't that interesting. Like, I've eaten at Applebee's. I've eaten at good Applebee's, and ultimately it's still kind of boring food. Whereas, like, earlier today I had some kind of... Oh, shoot, I don't even remember the name. But it was, like, a Korean bulgogi. Oh, that's redundant to say, but it was it was bulgogi, and it was really good. Uh, like a really nice broth, sweet potato noodles. 
uh, some really dang good beef, and just so on and so forth. And I'm actually drooling a little bit thinking about it, because I haven't eaten in a while. And, uh... Let's see, do we get more archers? No well, yeah. Let's go buy more bows. And maybe think of doing this. But I should probably arm what dudes I have first. Yeah, statistically, millennials cook more than baby boomers. That hasn't been true for us recently, but I think a lot of that just has to do with the fact that we straight up don't have frying pans, because we actually, we're throwing away all of our frying pans, because uh, non-stick coatings might be poison, and that's kind of spooky. Uh, yeah, Teflon specifically is kind of spooky. Um, and I know, like, I know we already eat, like, enough processed, like, not good for us stuff to begin with. And, like, you know, there's plenty of chemicals that should not be all over the place. I, I think there was, like, a town, I want to say in Idaho, that straight up, like, the women couldn't get pregnant because they were near a, uh, what was that shell? Yeah, okay, it was in Wisconsin. Uh, but, like, the women couldn't get pregnant because uh, because there was a, a plant making um, oh was it cow milk? Uh, but effectively there was like a bunch of birth control or like uh, hormones in it, and effectively it was acting like birth control for these women, and making it so yeah they straight up just couldn't have kids. It was awful. Like, I'm from a town where multiple factories were just dumping mercury into the river to the point where it's still not safe to swim in the river. Which sucks. Because, like, it's a neat river. Wow, this game actually gets really laggy once you get this far. Ah, damn. Big issues with Teflon. Or if you get too hot or you chip it. Either way, stainless steel and frying pans are so much better. Or cast iron. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be going with uh I d I don't actually know if I'm gonna go stainless steel or cast iron after this. We're probably gonna get a mix and just try and see. You're from Move Burn Wander? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, not quite. I'm one town over from Wooburn, but same area, same river. Okay, so what do we get? I could get a farm out here. Ceramic is an option for non-stick. Yeah, we had a ceramic ceramic pan. The thing is, like, um, that's a relatively new thing. And it's supposedly non-toxic, but they still... Oh, it was ceramic coated. But effectively, there's some amount of doubt on the... On, like... You know, everybody thought when Teflon came out, yeah, it's safe, it's fine. Uh, but, you know, there's some amount of doubt, and it's like, well, well is, is it actually? Not as effective as Teflon ones, but it works, and we've got no reason to believe it's toxic. Yeah, I... It's just a... It's the same thing of, like, well... But we thought Teflon was fine, too. Uh, let's see. Ceramics have been around for ages. This handling on ceramics is... is it's not just, like, pure ceramic, from what I remember. I lived in Woober until you were eight, and then you moved to Burlington. Live in New Hampshire now, though. Yeah, uh... We go to... I worked in Burlington for a while. I was at, uh, <laughs> Market Basket there for, for some time. My family still lives in the area. Part of the reason why I'm a little cagey about, you know, what town I'm from. One, is because you might actually be able to sleuth out, like, my last name with that kind of thing. Which could get a little funky. I'm not too worried. But, like, now that I have a house and I'm not just, like, I can't just hide in an apartment and be like, 
you know, you can't find me, Nina Neener. Uh, yeah. And it's like, I am renting a house, but like, if somebody wanted to find me, it, it gets easier. Uh, and it's also one of those where I really don't want people to come find my parents. Because I don't think they'd appreciate that that much. I mean, they'd probably be fine. They'd probably think it's amusing. Uh, just because my parents are, are oddballs, but... What do we do? The other reason why I'm kind of meh on towers is it actually... I'm not sh entirely convinced if uh, towers are worth it for the money in comparison to just getting a ludicrous amount of archers and just jamming them on the walls. Let's wait until daytime. I'm probably just going to upgrade this wall. Make it a little bit better. See, base next, maybe. I think, I, I think I'm going to get the walls up to T4, and then we'll work on it. What's the base uh, accuracy of the archers? I think it's 75. No, it's 65%. Used to work at the EB Games in the mall, and then later the one by Roche was down there. Probably ran into each other at some point. You very well could have sold me a game. I, uh, let's see. I'm not, eh, maybe not. I don't know if I ever went into the EB Games by Roche Bros. I went to the GameStop by Roche Bros, but never EB Games. I don't like EB games that much. It always gave me the heebies. There's just something about it that I was just like, eh. That was the night, first night of the new place. Pretty good. Uh, I think I woke up at like 7. Sore, because air mattresses are not great. Uh, but otherwise fine. The neighbor's dog is a bit yappy. But relatively hard to hear. I think you can hear it occasionally. It barks like... For about 10 seconds, and then it stops barking for a while, and then it goes back to barking, and you're like, meh. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna... Oh, that's not gonna work. Anybody got one more coin for me? Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to dump coins on the... Oh. I need a little bit more than one coin. I'm going to give him that. And then I'm probably going to pull coins out. I'm not sure if upgrading the trader is worth it. It kind of is. He's just very expensive. There's some coinage. There's some capital. Oh god, there's more. Okay, I'll go upgrade the uh, the base next. Okay, so we're going to dump it on the banker. Then I'm going to pull... A goofy amount out of the ba banker. And then... Oh, God. Oh, no. We apparently go past 40. I do kind of wish I almost didn't have a horse for this. Okay. It said there was a camp. I don't necessarily see it. Uh, 
Okay, and I've got a... Decent chunk of archers. Oh god, it could... It gets really laggy by the time you get to this point. I probably should have upgraded this more. Shit. Back I go. Well, actually, we win. No matter what, we win here. Because this, this is the end round. We just have to kill two more dudes. Victory! Okay, so... Note to self, before the third blood moon, I gotta have T4 walls. Well, that's fair. Makes sense, honestly. Okay, so we've we finished that, so that gets us to the triplet tower. So we can go up to three guys on a tower. Uh, improved farm? Yeah, improved farm's probably worth it. Okay, so let's go back a second. Mount. Okay, so we don't have any of the bears yet. How do you get the tigers? Oh, uh, finish eight. Got it. Hunt deer. I haven't been very good at that. Cripes, you have to hunt a goofy amount of bunnies. Ah, I can lure animals of the same breed. I see how that works. Okay. Well, let's go back to let's go back to the sun horse. As it, it must be candescent. And we haven't we haven't unlocked the the queen, king or queen yet. I gotta finish Island 6. Blah. I guess that's fair. Alright, how many islands are there? There's eight, actually, and we've only done three. Dang!